Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I think a lot of people out there have this perception that you're either a clean person or you're not. I would argue that there's actually a spectrum of cleanliness that you could fall on. Over here, <laughs> over here we have our slobs, moving on to our messy, clean-ish. Then over here are the tidy people and all the way at the top are the neat freaks. Now I know a lot of you watching probably assume that I'm a neat freak, but in reality, I'm somewhere over here in the tidy zone. And I think that's a good place to be and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Now I would define a tidy person as someone who likes to keep a clean and neat environment, but they don't totally stress out about it. Let me know down in the comments, where do you currently fall on the spectrum of cleanliness? So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the habits of tidy people that I like to follow, that I think helps make things a lot easier to keep my home clean and organized. And quickly before jumping into it, if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. And also make sure you are following me on Instagram. I'm doing a new series over on my Instagram stories where I do 10 minute home organization projects. I think they're really quick and satisfying. So I have that going on. I'm also having you guys vote to help redecorate different areas of my house. You already picked out my new chandelier and my new nightstand. So if you're interested in being involved with that, make sure you are following me over there. And with all that said, let's jump into our habits of tidy people. I love visual aids. Tidy habit number one. Tidy people never leave a room empty handed. They're always bringing things back to the place they belong. For example, in the morning when I wake up, I will grab whatever clutter is on my nightstand, maybe a water cup, trash, and I will bring that with me out of the room into the dishwasher or throw away my trash. After I've been working at my desk, I will grab my coffee mug and I will bring it back into the kitchen and put it in the dishwasher. So this is just something to be cognizant of. Every time you leave a room, just try to grab something, bring it with you and bring it back to its place. Habit number two, clean a little bit at a time or in small batches versus a lot at once. This is just gonna make your life so much easier. For example, instead of waiting several weeks for all of your laundry to pile up, you have no clothes to wear and having to spend a whole day doing laundry, do a couple small loads a week. It's gonna be really manageable. It's gonna take a lot less time. It's gonna be less of a burden and you're more likely to actually get it done and that way a huge mess doesn't accumulate. This also applies to your dishes. Instead of letting the entire sink pile up of dirty dishes, Every time you use a dish, just quickly rinse it off and put it in the dishwasher. This will make your life so much easier in the long run. Habit number three, tidy people have set routines for when they get their cleaning done. They don't just leave it to chance or do it when they feel like it. They have a set time where they typically will do their cleaning. Now, if you watch my block scheduling method video that I posted a few weeks ago, I highly recommend you watch that one. It's one of my favorite videos I've done in a while. I share in that video where cleaning falls into my daily routine. So one thing I recommend doing is just think about your schedule and where you could build in a little bit of cleaning time every day or every few days so that you could get it done. Tidy habit number four is tidy people don't over decorate and they don't over stuff their space. When you have a home with stuff and clutter and decor everywhere, it's just going to visually look very cluttered and it's gonna make it a lot easier for messes to happen because there's already stuff everywhere. It takes very little for that stuff to become a giant mess. You guys have seen my home tour videos, you know that I have a very minimal aesthetic. Some people even think it's too minimal, but I would argue it makes my life so much easier to have less stuff because there's just less stuff to clean in the first place. Tidy habit number five is clean first, rest later. I always make a habit to do what I have to do first, get my cleaning done, and then relax after. Once you start relaxing, you're watching TV, you're on your phone, it becomes so challenging to get the motivation to get up and start cleaning, which is why I just have the habit to get it done first and then reward myself with resting afterwards. Tidy habit number six is to get others involved. Don't take the entire burden of cleaning on yourself. Get creative, get people involved in ways that they can. So for example, my husband is in charge of doing the dishes and you better believe the moment Carter is old enough to start helping around the house and start helping with cleaning, he's gonna be doing it. Tidy habit number seven is to have a place for everything. When everything has a place, you know when it's out of place and you know exactly where to put it back. 
This comes from the Marie Kondo method. She talks about this a lot in her book and I fully agree. Now, if you're thinking I have way too much stuff for every item to have a place, that's probably part of the problem that there's too much stuff in the first place. So you might wanna start with decluttering and then get to a system where every item has a specific place where it belongs. Tidy habit number eight is my personal favorite and that is work smarter, not harder. I like to follow a lot of hacks and shortcuts and make my life easier with my cleaning. The biggest thing that's happened recently that has completely changed my life is getting a robot vacuum because that cuts out about 10 minutes of cleaning time every single day and that adds up very quickly. So now my vacuuming is done while I sleep. I wake up with clean floors. I also have an entire video I've done on cleaning hacks for lazy people and cleaning shortcuts. I will leave those down below. Number nine is that tidy people People are always decluttering. Decluttering is not something that you just do one time and it's over with. You have to constantly be on the lookout for little clutter hotspots that are happening and donate things, give things away, and just reorganize things so that your home doesn't become a magnet for clutter and things don't accumulate. And that's part of the reason why I started my new 10 minute organization projects series on my Instagram stories, because that is motivating me to constantly be decluttering and reorganizing small spaces in my house. 10 is that tidy people don't have kids. Okay, I'm kind of kidding here, but in all seriousness, when you have kids, it becomes approximately 4,000 328 times harder to keep your home clean. There's a little gremlin that's running around the house, messing everything up all the time. And this is actually per kid, it becomes that much harder. So really what I'm trying to say here is that if you do have kids, just know that things are not always gonna be clean all the time. There's a new standard, I think, to set for yourself and to kind of relax. I don't stress out too much when things get really messy. I know I'm gonna get to it. I know it's not that big of a deal. And I would just say, give yourself a break. I try to as well and just do my best. All right, so those are what I would consider to be my top 10 tidy habits I like to follow to keep things clean around the house. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me over on Instagram. If you are a mom watching this video, I also have a second channel, which is for kids and parents. Next week, I'm sharing my video finally on sleep training, so make sure you are subscribed over there. Also, just gonna fill you guys in that the video I have going up next Sunday is the scariest video I have ever posted on my channel, will ever post on my channel. I'm super nervous about it. I hope you guys are gonna like it. So be on the lookout for that, stay tuned, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.